It's been nearly a year since the legendary king of under 73 kilos, Shohei Ono, retired. Of course, it's been said that it was his decision which makes it the right decision, and he's better off for it today. In this video, I want to showcase the highlights of Shohei Ono's career, so sit back and enjoy this trip down memory lane. Let's transport ourselves to the year 2013 in the busting city of Rio de Janeiro. A young Ono reached the final of the Adult World Championship for the first time, waiting for his what was experienced Frenchman Hugo Legrand. Ono was in the lead and he executed his favorite grip for Uchimata, sending his opponent soaring into the air with a breathtaking upon takedown. This throw remains one of the most beautiful moments in Shohei Ono's career. And don't forget to comment what you thought of this throw and any of the other throws that we're about to talk about today. At the World Championships in 2015, Ono faces off against Fernandez from Portugal and just watch this setup as he has the dominant grips. As Fernandez comes in for a weak Osoto, he gets countered massively with this Osotogari. It is just so beautiful and so well timed. It is probably in my opinion, his best Osotogari that he has ever gotten in competition. And after this, he goes on to win the world championship. In 2019, where the world championships were held in Tokyo, Ono was not gonna miss this one. And besides the fact that he is the crowd favorite of this tournament, maybe one of the reasons being the fact that he won every match with an upon, and this is the most powerful one against Ernari from Hungary as he just does his classic spinning Uchimata. It is so gorgeous. Look at that pull, look at that twist. So much power generated. It's just so easy to see why he's one of Judo's living legends. As we rewind to 2016 this is the first olympics in ono's career and he's in the finals against rustam from azerbaijan in the finals he's already up ahead in a wazari and now we're about to see him take a beautiful shot as he's already bent over but then uses it to combo and hit kochio which right there is a beautiful upon that secures him the gold medal for those olympics here we see Orovich again with Ono, and it's a good thing to know that six times these two have fought against each other, and Ono has come out on top each and every time with an upon. It is truly impressive, because as you can tell, those grips, the minute he gets the sleeve grip, he goes for the Uchimata, which is not in the dominant sense whatsoever from his grips, as I can see, and he pulls off a beautiful Uchimata that Orovich is not happy with and doesn't even believe as he looks at the judge with utter disdain and wonderment of how how the heck he got the upon. These were just five of Ono's top upons. There are so many more out there, and if you want to see some of them, please comment what some of your favorite upons are. Um, he's had such an amazing career, and we just wanted to pay tribute to this amazing Juduka. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and follow this page for more amazing judo and grappling content that we put out on a weekly basis. Thank you for watching, and may the judo gods treat you fairly.